Hey everybody, it's David R. Becker again here with Becker Art. And today I'm going to give you a little bit of a tip on how to tint your watercolor and how to do a wash in watercolor. It's two different ways of putting, applying your paint to the pigment or to the paper, I should say. And it's very important to understand which one of these um, you use for what purpose. And let me just go right to my tabletop and show you what I'm talking about. So a tint of color and a lot of um, watercolorists do tints and where that is a lot of water, not as much pigment, and they build up to their darks. There was a um, Sir William Russell Flynn from England um, who was one of the artists who did a lot of glazing and you use a tint of color. And so what is a tint of color? It's using a lot of water. You use a lot of water and you don't make your darks, basically you're using more water than you're using paint. And so when you're putting it on your paper, it's pretty a light wash and it's basically you're tinting. And I, I, you can use any color. And if you're using a dark color, a lot of times that becomes really light because you're using a lot of water. So it's like a tint. And there are a lot of artists who use this and build up their darks. So they're putting it on. See, see how light that is? It's so light you can't even see it. <laughs> but it's like basically a tint. So a tint, you know, here I'm putting in a lot of water. And you're letting it float your pigment also. But it's just more water than there is pigment. And it's almost impossible to control your pigment if you wanted to do like line work or something that's inside that wash it's a great way to get a really smooth smooth surface really smooth surface because you're using a lot of water and the pigment is just going to float in there and then just get really nice and even it's going to even itself out where a wash i call it a wash i'm not sure if anybody else calls it a wash but it's sort of like when you're applying a tint and then you want to put a more of a wash in there with a little bit more pigment um, I call it a wash because you're making making it uh, a lot more pigment. So it's out of water, but then you're putting a lot more pigment in. So let's say um, I'm putting a lot more pigment in, and it doesn't have, doesn't mean about light or dark. It just means about the amount of pigment you put in there. If you're putting in a lot of pigment and there's a lot of water, the more pigment you put, the more you can do good control and edge. So that's a kind of a gradation in a way. Here I can do the gradation, but let's go from a really dark dark well, not from a real dark but it's kind of like a light wash but see how i can control it because i'm using a lot of pigment and so if i use a lot of pigment let's do it on this side you can control the edges and you put a lot of pigment so that's what i call a wash because you're putting in a lot of pigment and the wash to me is just um being able to control the edges where on a tint you really can't control the edges in where the fact that you're not using enough pigment you're not using enough pigment to show um or to stop the water from um stopping the pigment from the water it just the water's making it all go nice and even but that's what a tint is and this is what a wash is to me a wash is a lot of pigment we can control and you're floating your pigment into the wash and again if i go with a darker color let's do it again right next to it well if i'm using a dark color let's say i use a purple right on top of this see how i i'm doing a wash of color and again this is my own my own words i guess wash it's a wash um, I'm not sure if any other artist calls it something different, but that's what I usually call it, a, a wash and a tint. And so here, see, I'm controlling the edges with the amount of pigment, and that's how I get soft edges. I also get soft edges with a tint, but you can't get edges as well. I mean, inside the wash, you can't get many edges. So let's say you're doing um, a tint of a dark color. Let's say we're going to use black. I mean, you get, can't get much darker than black. Well, let's use a little bit of blue, a dark blue, like a Prussian blue. But if I use a lot of water... I use a lot of water, you know, you just use a lot of water. <laughs> it's not going to be as dark because it's all water and it's, it's a tint of this color. So it's not much pigment, not much pigment going to um, get you to, to get the darkness where a wash, when I put down the water, see, I'm putting a tint of, tint of Prussian blue and black down. So it's a tint and see if I put a wash, I'm using a lot of pigment. And so the more pigment you use, the more of a tint it is. I mean, more of a water, the more of a tint it is. So here again, using a lot of water. Now this is more of a wash because of how much pigment I use again. So here again, if I'm using a lot of pigment, hardly any water in my brush, or just tap it down there. Now, you know, see how far I can get with the darks? And so it's not a tint anymore. It's a wash of this pigment. A wash, and I can do all kinds of different things in there, getting edges. Where in a tint, which is a lot of water, it's hard to get a, a line. But that being said, when this this new um, instrument came out, this new spray bottle, let me just show you, is that you can do a tint and also get a little bit of, a, of an edge. 
because you're not putting as much of a wash of a um, no much of a tint down because if you, let's say you're putting a tint down with with your brush you're putting a lot of water with a little bit of pigment but look at how smooth that tint is where here the washes have a lot of pigment and it would be harder to get it that unless you use a lot of pigment then you can get it nice and nice and even too but you need a lot of water and a lot of pigment to get it really dark anyway so now with this new with this new um sprayer this mister um you can get a tint and still control some edges so let me show you so i'm just going to let this rest on here i just sprayed it a little bit on there real lightly across it and so what i did is i come in here now with a color and i i don't i can use a lot of water because there's a little bit of water on here but it's not so much water so see i'm going to go in here and i can get a soft edge with a tint of color so that's one thing that i think i like about these new bottles is that i can get an edge that's pretty soft and still get a tint and so that's one thing that i find to be very interesting with these bottles because you can just i just spray it again i have to spray it from the distance because i don't want to be too close being too close i guess i can go way up here and shoot it down and then you'll see you can take a tint of color and get a soft edge and that's one of the reasons I, I, I particularly like that because normally I could never do that with when you're doing a tint you could always you're always putting out too much water down with your brush here with the spray bottle with the mister spray bottle um, it puts a mist of water down but then you can do a tint and I always say tint is not much pigment it's a lot less pigment um, keeps in, keeping things really light because again there's a lot of water now if you do if you do a, a dark color with a lot of pigment of course it's going to be dark on this too and it's, it will give you a soft edge but that's not a tint that's a wash i call it because you're using a lot of pigment and so that's my definition of a tint and a wash and hopefully that helps you out when you're going to do a light area and you want to um, do more of a tint and you can build up on these tints also that sir william russell flint what he had done was do hundreds of tints and, and you get to a point where and then you would see a lot of the granulation happening in your work. But I would let that totally dry and you go again and you go again and you go again with just building up darker and darker as it went along and getting a lot of the granulation happening because the pigment floats into the surface of the paper because it's um, a lot of water, a little bit amount of pigment. And then each time you get a little bit more pigment floating in there and you just get darker as you go along. I like to do my wet into wet washes where I get the pigment in there right away but again it's it's a different way of um working all right so that's my little tip of uh what is it <laughs> tints versus the washes watercolor washes all right and so join me every thursday i do a, a paint along every thursday and i'm not sure if we'll be able to use this um I, uh, this little tip we did today for this um, demonstration we're doing on uh, paint along we're doing on thursday but i do a central standard time at 6 30 central standard time on thursdays and if you get my newsletter at my website at beckerart.net or davidrbecker.com, you can pick up my newsletter and it shows you what we're painting each week. All right, and it's all free. So I'll see you there, and um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.